Hi, I'm Jen and welcome back to my life here in Taiwan. If there is one thing to know about me, it is that I love to travel all over this island and share its beauty with you. That being said, I don't have many videos from where I actually live here in Taiwan, which is Shinchu. When I first announced that I was going to live here, I had so many locals commenting on how boring Shinchu is. But I hope that through my time here, I can create a few videos that might make you just want to visit. I already have a few dedicated to indigenous culture found within the mountains here, a few cool food spots to eat at, and some neat stays. Today, I'm treating myself to a staycation, and I'll be staying the night in an Art Deco Airbnb downtown, sharing delicious foods along with you, and a cool bar. Let's get into the video. I don't know if I've ever done a staycation. Today I'll be staying overnight in the East District, which is the second largest district of the three. It is home to Shinchu Zoo, Big City, the famous God's Temple, and Science Park, just to name a few. Okay, so the instructions say I gotta go to Taco House. Everything is written online on the Airbnb, but I already went there and got a little bit confused, so I dropped my suitcase off and I'll show you guys how to get there. <laughs> this kind lady actually helped me earlier. So I am gonna show you guys the room. I already had a little sneak peek and ooh, it looks quite interesting. The room is talking to me. <laughs> All right, let me take you around Suite 64 and show you a little bit about this place. I've already had a little sneak peek filming here and there. And wow. We have the bed here, it looks very luxurious with it's like satin sheets. We have a leather headboard up here and buckles fastening it to the wall. Kind of sexy, I'm not gonna lie. Like that's serving a little something something. Now this place is marketed as a art deco Airbnb and by looking at pictures, I thought it was beautiful. I don't know how it's gonna look on video, but this would be a great couples retreat. But by being here and actually looking at it, I'm like, yeah, it's very artistic. Absolutely every little detail from the railings on the wall to the garbage can, to all of the fixtures, door handles, to the light switches, to the hangers, to everything has been thought about ahead of time and has been placed into this Airbnb. It's not you just go somewhere and buy things on sale and whatever. It is actually quite stunning and I'm very impressed. And this chandelier is just so beautiful. It screams sexy, it screams good time, it screams vintage, and I'm here for it. Okay, I also love this space right here. I love that the glass is super cloudy, but you can still kind of see through it, but not, if that makes sense. And the plants on one side make it look just so cool on one aspect. And then you come in here and you're like, whoa. I love the bathroom, like amazing. These are not real plants, they're fake plants, but still they look really cool. I've never seen a bathroom done like this. The sink and the fixtures, the toilet is black. I even love the plush velvet looking 
shower curtain. I don't know if the camera necessarily picks it up, but this flooring is kind of like a metallic sheen, kind of silver, but kind of bronze. And it ties in nicely with the towels that are left here. Again, the attention to detail, the green wall, the gold trim, the dark gray kind of cloudy walls, Sweet 64. And I absolutely love this shower. It is beautiful, very vintage looking, gold as well. The fixtures look very cool. I've never seen a shower head. Oh, water's coming out, sorry. I've never seen a shower head look like this. Well, I mean, I have seen like the pull off ones, but to look this vintage, very cute. I think this right here has to be one of my favorite aspects of the room because I thought, is this a speaker? But no, maybe it was a speaker before, but it's been refurbished into a refrigerator. So cool, right? Or maybe it was originally a, maybe it's, or maybe it's just originally a fridge that looks like a speaker, but it's a great way to kind of camouflage your refrigerator, no? Look at that. Even the plates are black and gold. I have to try the bed. <laughs> oh my God, it's a oh no! I don't know if you know this, I've mentioned it in other videos that my bed at home, in our home, in our apartment, is rock hard. It came with the place, but oh my God, I want this bed. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but this whole side of here, the left side is like a mirror. You can see your own reflection. Can you see the camera? I think this room is perfect for couples. If you catch my drift. <laughs> Fun! I have found a Roomba. And surprise, surprise, it's also black. I am going to take this time to write in this book. People who have stayed here have written past accounts. This little dressing area here, my smallest suitcase, so I guess you could say like a carry-on suitcase, fits perfectly right in here. lady who runs this Airbnb. This location is actually quite a good location for Shinshu. It's downtown. Staying here, you can walk to some of the main attractions here in Shinshu, whether it's the God's Temple, Big City, uh, Shinshu Station for not the HSR, but the TRA will come here. It's only a four minute walk from there. There's cute little restaurants around here. There is a taco house that you've seen right next door. One thing I love about the downtown area is that there's this river that kind of runs through the city. This is actually stationed near one area of that river that runs through. I'm gonna be meeting two of my girlfriends tonight. We're gonna to get tacos at Il Mundo and all of my foreign friends tell me that it is the best taco place in the area. And then we're gonna to go to Bar Reviver, which is a very interesting and cool bar here in downtown Shinshu. I'm just gonna relax here for a little bit before I head out for dinner. like a totally different I love how it totally changes into another whole area I don't know if you can see me but to get to the taco place you just walk straight along the river here which I love I love this river walk all right found it Here with the beautiful poo trees. 
and we are hanging out tonight and she's gonna teach me you speak spanish right yeah yeah <laughs> a little bit so we first started off with esquites esquites, esquites yeah. which is this corn yeah. is it cheese on it yeah so it has cotija cheese which is yeah. a mexican cheese and then it has i think um like chipotle sauce oh, that looks amazing yeah, it's really good and we're gonna have to put some lime on it yeah. we got some chicken and some duck looking good look who i have look who's here with me Rick. long time no see how <laughs> mm. what do you think yeah. Good. Ooh, we got some pork ones as well, and they added grilled pineapple to it. All right, stop number two. We are heading to Bar Reviver, which is about a three, four minute walk from the Airbnb. It's behind the ramen list? No ramen, no lights. The bar reviver is behind this like secret door here. Go big or go home tonight. We got gummy bear. I haven't had gummy bear since I was like 21. <laughs> mm. We got more shots. These ones are hummy which is melon. We're on the Instagram story. <laughs> Everyone has caught their Uber at home or their boyfriends have picked them up or their husbands have picked them up. And I am gonna head back to the Airbnb. So many scooters. You know Taiwan's famous for the scooters. Yaho, it is 1.30 a.m. Thanks for hanging out with me on my staycation here in Shinchu. Let me know your thoughts on the Airbnb. I will leave the price for the stay and conversions in the comment section. And hopefully see you in my next video. Bye.